Welcome back to the Black Parade. Mission 2, where the faces fade, also known as where the V-Fig gets hopelessly lost in the upper floors of a mansion that are far too big to be possible. <sighs> Have I been here? <sighs> I've been almost down there. I don't think I've been up here or across the way there. Well, there's one way to get up high enough. I could leap across that. I suppose I wasn't what I was trying to do. I kind of feel like if I... I've read, I've read the book, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like if I grab the vase, something might happen. So it might take a moment. To just explore the rest of this floor. Can I climb the vine? No. It's placed in a as if I might be able to. Oh, where's this stairway go? With a broken column. And possibly more trapped stairs in them, I don't know, it's unclear. Or just meant to make you think they're trapped, like the other one. Chessboard. And a chessboard on the ceiling, and another chessboard on the ceiling. I mean, if you really, really like chess, I guess. I've been on the other side of this. It rings a vague bell. Damn it. It's a dang overhang. It would not. It would have been fine if it had not been an overhang. It's ridiculous. All right, how do I get back? Am I gonna have to quick load? I'm all the way back down here. Let's go anywhere near, or am I? I might just quick load that because that's just like annoying as hell. No, we're, we're near, right? It's up here. Up there is where I need to be. How do we get there again? I was going to say I could try jumping across to there, but I'm not going to make it given this road. It's laid on the road. I'm not 100% sure it's the right, actually the right location either. place is not right. I was just here before by the gong. Now I'm going around in damn circles. Yep, I'm going around in damn circles.
right, we're just here. Okay. Back on front now. I was looking down here. And I was wanting to see. Here's a chessboard room, okay. I wanted to get across here, and I have to jump from slightly further back or slightly further away. Slightly further forward. Depending whether I wanted to land or mantle. Oh, and this is here, okay. Alright, that's how it connects. Have to jump, jump slightly later than is ideal. Are oh, these are valuable chess pieces? How about any of them? No? Okay. Alright, um... That stairway aside... Is there anywhere else in here I have not been? So this is where... This is the way in, right? Yeah, this is where the guard is patrolling this way. I remember coming on this castle-like place. Here's the vase, right? We haven't explored this floor yet. I don't think we have any guards. I think we will hear them at this point. And this is probably the easy way to get to the vase. I don't need to... Hey, he's going upside down garden. Don't need to do anything super... Super wild, right? It's said that robbing a pagan brings the evil eye. But after seeing this, I'll take the risk any time. Now the hell, now the big question is how the hell do I get back to reality? Or any vague semblance thereof. Is this a door? If it is, it's not going to open the hard way. You know what, there was that rubble just back up there. We could stand on that, maybe. There we go. Hello. See, he told you it was a door. Very good, having a picture of a door be a door. Okay, doors open with increasing speed and then one that's dreadfully slow. Well, not eat your heart out. <laughs> okay, this is this is this is amazing. Smaller and smaller treasure chests. <laughs> it's got that's one coin inside. I don't know how much it's worth. I don't know what my loot total was, but that is that is beautiful. All right, best troll chest ever. Congratulations, I don't care about the rest of the mission, that was great. Uh, <laughs> this is a dead end, let's get me up higher. Uh, this goes down, right. And then we come out... Oh, I don't remember which way. Well, if we're going downwards, downwards is generally back towards the parts of the mansion where things like the vault would be, right? Haha, <sighs> caught it in the act. We, we can go downwards there, but there's probably a little too much downwards. I can outrun fireball even if I cannot outrun bullet. Oy, oy, oy. Can I safely jump into the ponds here? Yes. <sighs> Which was the way in? That's grey smoke. We came down these steps, right? But does this lead back? 
Now, so this is where we found the key, right? We found a key, which is probably the key we need, the second key we need for the vault. We have to go temporarily up. Yeah. There's a rope. We'll climb out the well. And all shall be well. And then... Oh, we came from there, is that... Okay. And here was the secret statues. Which was still a weird place. But you know, this is just like only moderately weird. Alright, there's a dead end apart from the secret statues. Okay, so how do I get back? Towards more normality. I need this is this is not enough normality yet. And remember getting somewhere where we can see the vault from, right? Did I read that? Is it readable? No, it's not. Yeah. All turned about. I could get I've just been from those stairs. That's not the way. That's not the way back. But... Or maybe it is. What's here? Garden shed. Garden shed. Garden shed gets us to reality. Ladder fail. Doesn't matter. Ooh, look at this. Almost normal here. Take us to the kitchen, right? Yeah. Shit, there's a guard right there. <sighs> Hope he doesn't want to come this way. Just three flash bombs, I could just knock him out. Oh no, that's not. That's just a fucking. It's a guy right there. When's he gonna move? When's he gonna make a sound? I need to check the map now because I'm lost again. We are here. So, do you want to go across there and up the stairs again? Okay. Well, yeah, is where we want to go. some fun. They deserve a bit of fun. So they can join in with the rest of us. Have I been here before? Yes, there's a girl that patrolled in here, right? Yeah, because I put the window out. down there it's getting angry again let's 
Because I need to go out that way. Why was these like that? I don't know. Wait for him. I heard that. Stop right there. Nope. Can't catch me, Copper. Right, we're going this way. Have I been in there? And no, I thought like this would be too hard to get in there, right? And I climbed in here instead. And this is fine. So this is the sensible bit of the upper floors. Gridley, my friend. Who wanna play some truffle and in with me? Sorry, pal. I didn't take my cards with me this time. Don't worry. I have mine. Oh boy. I should have stayed in bed. Oh, what's wrong? You seem to be upset about this game. Look, why not play a funny game for a change? Like, well, like pheasants and wheat. Aw, oh, come on. Truffle and Din's the best. Just wait until we divide the total amount of black puddings on the head and double the same amount with the five last red jacks on the... I said no. Okay. How about the High Watch variant? It's the same rules, but without the melding. And we say Truffle Din Din each time we have the valor of 44 Hammer Priests and... How about I play with someone else? All right, all right. Oh, what about Faux Shard Fork? Or Black Treacle? Tough off. <laughs> they're, all, they're both upset now. I think they got a... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Watching his face. Nice animation there. One of the new ones that's not one of the stock animations, I don't believe. You like cars so much, why don't you sleep underneath them? That particular musical phrase there. Pretty sure it is from Does Thief 2 or maybe it's called Mitch from the Opera House? I don't know. Can't remember, it is one of the thief ones, but it also always makes me think of Dishonored. I don't think he's coming in here. And if he is coming in here, it's a reasonably safe place to be. Herald, the extinguisher strikes again, New Testament, he says. New reports of this mysterious vandal supposedly terrorizing the Sutton neighborhood have been delivered to the City Herald this morn, including this testimony from a certain Mr. Preston Hildebrontus, Stonecutter, and a statement from the Honorable Seamus A. Blatt, Barrister. Truly, this is the most bizarre thing I have ever seen in my entire life, Mr. Hildebrontus said, and I have seen peculiar things, believe you me. I was minding my business in my small shop on Henry Street when I heard a commotion upstairs. As I was carefully climbing the stairs, I saw a dark hooded finger in the figure in the hallway. At first, I thought it was a thief. Addendum: Reports of thefts from the so-called downwiders are frequent in downtown. So I hid in the dark, ready to strike this awful brigand. To my surprise, however, this person drew their bow and doused all the torches in the room using water crystals. They then went to their merry way in my house and my shop, extinguishing all the lights and leaving puddles of water everywhere. Before leaving, some time after the deed was done, and my whole place was as cold and dark as a tomb. They didn't even steal anything. 
I didn't believe this tale of the extinguisher that's whispered in the streets of Sutheim. But after seeing it with my own eyes, there is no way I can deny this native's existence. The Honourable Shemit A. Blatt, a noted barrister who is used to dealing with mysterious cases and is on the side of the defendants, is however incredulous. Addendum. Mr. Blatt defended Mr. Hines Stello in the peculiar case of the food thief a year ago. I was quoted saying this burglar was just a legend in the City Tribune. I have dealt with many a strange case with bizarre characters in my long career, but never before had I heard of the tale of a shadowy figure breaking into homes, extinguishing every light source possible, and then getting up quietly without swiping any lucre, or without stealing anything at all for that matter. Dousing torches and such is a common tactic used by gutter snipes, street trash, and low lives, but it is used to help them steal items of value. In the case of Mr. Hildebrandt's extraordinary encounter, however, this person didn't even bother to steal anything. I must regretfully and publicly state that either Mr. Hildebrandt has inhaled too much fumes from the aptly named Sutchheim district and was dreaming high up there on a little dark cloud of smoke, or we are in the presence of the most mysterious and inexplicable human being I've ever heard of in that vandal. Surely no one expects anyone to believe such nonsense. If I, a barrister on the side of the defendants, do not believe in such a ridiculous story, how do you think the Honourable Judges Stewan and Nazemlag are going to react to this? This brings me on to another subject. These are bitterly dull and bafflingly stupid cases we must now... etc etc. Rumple Ball results. Oh, dang it. I, was, I had my money on Eastport. Alright. Uh... Oh. I did not think you were coming in here to warm yourself. Alright, that's fine. I can deal with that. There's maybe... Oh, I've been up above here, haven't I? I kind of think I have. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't want to knock him out. Did, did you ever think of that? Bottles balanced on the other bottles. Dang pictures get making it hard. Oh, I guess I can do, that. do it this way. <sighs> Is this one of the... Excuse me. Oh, God. Inconvenient height and distance for remantling. Feel that way. Is this one from one of the secret, from the secret passage, or is this? Yes, it is. Okay. And this is where we saw the vault from, right? One of these exits was the vault, not that one. This one? Yes. Two keys. Okay. I don't see any sign of a guard here. Ah, oh, that's, that's to open this door, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. Alright, well, let's try this bloody key, and the key from upstairs. What was it called? Somewhere here. Key from deep underground. I mean, it wasn't deep underground, was it? Was kind of the opposite of underground. A disfigured head. Okay. Let's uh, lock it back up again so nobody knows. Well, doesn't matter, the vase is gone, surely that's going to be missed more easily than stuff in the vault. Hello, more upside down stuff. Just to knock him out. I'm. I mean, we're 25 minutes into this episode, and I still need to find his golden clock. I have no idea where his golden clock would be.
At least if it asked us to steal his golden cock, we would be able to look between his legs. Hello? Okay, you taffer. I'll find you. Who? How? What? What did you think you heard? Who's that there? I don't know. The head. Maybe I should wait till he finds me. Why are you coming this way? This is well, not where the noise was coming from. Oh. Oh, there's one problem solved. There's a hole downstairs. I think maybe I've been down there. I can't be sure, but... Where the hell would we be looking for this golden clock? It's like, I have not seen a single written reference to it, so... Well, there's more loot down there. I haven't been down there, clearly. So maybe it is down there. Over the steps. This way? Yes. That feels like that could be a secret door as well. could have climbed up to this area from. I think it is. Right, I've been down that stairway before, right? I think... No, this does not ring a bell. Oh. Probably didn't see me there. Nothing to be seen now. Oh, I saw something, but. Nothing much, apparently. Okay, so he's not around this side. Oh, okay. What's this one there? Good to know. That's what that noise is. It's not working. This banner's broken. I'll wait till the guard moves on. All quiet now. Must have been rats. There we are. That doesn't fix itself. There we are. Fixed. 
Bug report. Banner was broken, but I fixed it. With my sword. Okay, so I want to go this way. So this is the room I haven't been in that I could see from above, which had loot. Does it have a golden clock? I don't know. This is a room that's just sort of looting, isn't it? Maybe it's not. Yeah, I... Hmm. I don't know anymore. This place is too big. My sense of direction got broken some time ago. Okay, we saw the guard going up and down these steps, right? So I was up there looking down, so the guard is definitely down here. Which of course means he's going to come this way and walk right into me. Walk right into my blackjack. How unfortunate. There's the golden clock. neat looking clock. It's got, oh well, I mean, it's got a sip and tell talk on the back, which is a little weird. Uh, sip and tell talk pattern. Why would anyone be decorating the back of the clock? I don't need the knife. But you know what? Apples. I'm down one hit point. Let's chew a few of them. Here we go. Okay, I want to get back up a bit because there's another passageway I didn't explore this way. Isn't there? Yeah, I hadn't been along here yet. Another little gardeny thing, statues, trees, that's what I saw from above. Right. I have not stolen either of those. Now I have. Oh, he's got more salacious paintings. Return to your entry point once you're done. I mean, technically I'm done. This is not a safe way down, though. <sighs> what about this window? Valuable. I'll take that. So I could get down from here, maybe, into the sewers, but um, right, I've been in this room already. Can't believe some tap of spilled meat on the rug. <laughs> Oh, he came up here. Oh, that's a... All the way from the front gate. It's kind of, uh. Hoping for, uh, some extra pay, I guess. There you are, you spilled the mead on the rug. You know what? That jump does... Oh, hell. I was going to say that jump sounds like a good idea. We could go down to the kitchen now. Let's do the big jump. It'll be fun. <sighs> jump. <sighs> From the statue's head. Right, we can make this work. I'm going to climb up this ladder and we're done. Except that it doesn't want to climb up the ladder and I have to swim against the current again. There we go. 
Ugh. Alright, let's listen to how tired he sounds after all this. <sighs> Ooh. Oh dear. Uh, ouch! Damn. What a brute. Good thing we got the drop on him. Hmm. Are you really sure that this is the guy Darkwist told us to grab? Who else could it be? Now come on. Let's turn him into Lord DeWall. Don't you hate it when that happens? That's particularly funny to me because I've just played through the Patriot campaign where at the end of mission one or two, exactly the same thing happens to you. You go to where you're supposed to finish the mission and somebody comes out and knocks you on the head. Um, you know, the old getting caught in the cutscene trick. I missed a ton of loot, of course, because uh, who knows, there's another 760 you're hidden around. Uh, the place is such a maze that finding all the loot is... Well, good luck to anybody trying to do so without any kind of, uh, you know, using the editor or anything to find it, or, or the mod, or any kind of other cheating. Well, only halfway through, so I guess I'm going straight to the next episode again. To the next mission, rather. Let's see what happens next. Sinners are thieves. The heretic steals from the house of truth. The murderer steals from the house of life. And so the builder charged us with the duty. Take this sacred hammer, use it to rain righteous wrath upon the curse of thieves and all those who would violate my sacred houses. I should have known it. Dahlquist used to be reliable, but that's long gone now. Unbeknownst to me, Halliford was under the protection of the most powerful city warden, DeWall, and it didn't take long for his leg breakers to find me. I guess Dahlquist was happy to rat me out. As long as money's in the bargain, he's ready to do anything. I was carried in front of DeWall with a sack on my head after getting a severe beating from his ticklers, and I thought I was dead. However, he calmly spoke to me told me he was impressed with my skills and my audacity, and offered me something I just couldn't refuse. Either I worked for him, free of charge, or I was put to the sword. The choice was simple. I'm now under the orders of his lieutenant, a man named Reputo, at Reputo's consort and thieves' pawn, Victoria. Despite my very fragile position, I was given some of the best tools in town, including some very expensive lockpicks. Reputo says I'll need these for the job I'm going to undertake. Tonight's target is the Abbey of St. Greymall, the father of Boilers, a Hammerite complex in the North Quarter close to the Hollow Pits. The place is always under heavy guard, and the mission looks like utter suicide. But Reputo assures me that someone of my talents should be able to pull it off effortlessly. The piece de wall wants me to get is a golden chalice kept deep within the halls of the Abbey, most probably in a reliquary of some sort. It should command a high price. Naturally, I'm free to loot the place at my leisure. The contract allows me to keep any extra cash I steal for myself. Getting inside the complex shouldn't be too hard. The basement power station has an access to the sewers, so I can always use that way. The well in the garden may be a potential entry, too. Breaking into the abbey itself will be a lot trickier, as it's much more heavily guarded. But the complex built around it should have less security and provide more opportunities. Then, after the task is done, my only worry will be finding a way out. 
going through the sewers again. Oh, it looks like we're getting more objectives. I might be doing expert again. Break into the Abbey of St. Grameo, the father of boilers. And the boiler of fathers. Haha, <laughs> when, <laughs> when they uh, cross his path. Steal St. Grameo's chalice. It is likely protected with an alarm, so be careful. One of the few remaining copies of an ancient book, the Tale of the Stone, is somewhere inside the Abbey. Find it and steal it. And the Cardinal boasts that the Abbey is the wealthiest hammerite complex in the city. Make him swallow his words by seeing a thousand words. If we go up to Expert, teach the Hammerites a lesson in humility by raiding the contents of the Treasury Vault. Oh yes, I'm doing that. And 1500 worth of their valuables, so that should be manageable if we're, if we're looting their Treasure Vault, right? The Trial of Iron begins. Okay, Disruption Bomb Manual. A manual for Jordan and Matthew that says Disruption Bombs. Pretty handy manual to keep these ha happy. This bomb causes damage to any electric device it collides with in a small radius, resulting in a temporary blackout with electric lights or other effects with various contraptions. Cost 200. Okay. Um, we've got rope arrows now. We've got lockpicks now. It's good stuff. Temporary blackout with electric lights. I mean... We don't have that much money. We don't have any healing potions. Let's start with two of those. Another flash bomb. Do I want more disruption bombs? Do I want... Do I think I'm going to use a mine? I don't think I'm going to use a mine. Right. Normally one might say noise maker... You know, a broadhead is as good as noise maker. And if all you care about is the distraction, that's true. But if you want guards to settle down quicker, a noisemaker's better. Three moss, five water. I'm going to want more water, right? Let's grab another one of those. Four of those. What else? I'm not going to want a speed potion. Do I want some more moss? Maybe. If I grab... Let's just use these different bombs, right? We've got a lot of them. We can use them. Let's grab another moss arrow. I can grab another water arrow. And then one broadhead for luck. And we'll toss those three coins in, in the well for extra luck, right? That gives me four disruption bombs, so I can certainly try them out. Three flash bombs, good for escaping. Ten waters. Four moss. Sufficient that I shouldn't feel shy of spending them. Start here, all right. Sewer access again, sewers again. This is the third mission in a row with sewer access, isn't it? Feels a little, I don't know. It's like it could do with some mixing up, so I might not take the sewers. Garden is under heavy guard. Let's see how we can get in. I mean, this is a very detailed map. After uh, the last place, isn't this place going to feel very normal? I mean, is anybody? Is it so urgent that thou canst not wait for the lot? Old Grand Morden is squeezing his last breath. As his personal priest, it is my duty to assist him with his last prayers. There is no man more pious than the one who's living his last hours. One man can flee from the Builder's teaching all his life, but in the end it... <clears throat> Enough! Thou must pardon me, my son, but I don't have time to speak on philosophy. May the Builder be with thee in thy watch. I started talking when I was nowhere near. Of course, they might not be hostile to me right now. It's just down here on the street, right? And it seems not. Watchman, make haste and open this gate. Whoa, whoa! No need 
to yell. Now, where's the key? Huh. Why are there so many keys? <laughs> oh, this one's from the old arsenal. Nah. <laughs> hey, this one is from my house. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna work. Hey! This isn't a key. Well, I can't get inside that way. Why not? This just looks like an easy enough way in. Front door, why not? Oh. See someone there? Okay, it's on the heavy car. All seems peaceful now. Drop thy weapon! And do not move. <clears throat> Cease thy hiding, Craven. That's all nothingness. Oops. Who is there? I can't believe that worked. I mean, you're still burning a little too early, don't you think? Thou art lucky this time! To me, my brothers, an intruder does Well, you know, if I hide under here, it should be fairly safe, right? No, I can't actually get under. I can get stuck. Go as far away as we can from where they're searching, right? Guess what? The warehouse? This isn't a warehouse. Identify thyself. I promise to smash the face of any taffer who doesn't care about the builder's words. Tis a good start, but thou art not speaking in his name, thou art speaking in thine. The Builder hath no taffers, as thou said, just the faithful and the villains. Why use all this gibberish? You smash the guys you don't like, don't you? Nay, thou needs must respect his speech and his words. Tis the Builder's teachings. If the Builder were speaking like thee, then we would speak so. Now, repeat the sermon. I shall raise my hammer of righteousness to protect the Builder's walls against the villains from the dark forests. I will smash the smelly taffers from the woods who approach my home. No, I shall! The Builder's walls! The villains! I shall raise my hammer of righteousness! I will... shall... I shall raise my hammer of right... righteousness? To protect the Builder's walls against the villains? To protect my... the Builder's walls against the... villains? I shall raise my hammer of righteousness to protect the Builder's walls against the villains from the Dark Forest. I shall raise my hammer of righteousness to protect the Builder's walls against the Taffers no, no, uh, the villains. I meant the villains. Builder above, what are we going to do with thee? Thy skull is as thick as a brick. <clears throat> I haven't been commenting on the uh, voice <clears throat> actors up till now, but I did recognize several of them. This one was uh, Ben Phoenix. In the previous missions, we had three different <laughs> female characters in different places, and I think they were all Shadow Creeper. Halt! Thou art my oh prisoner! Oh my god! You... Ah. 
It's all going very smoothly. <sighs> oh, this guy does not seem to be coming. I haven't even had a reason to use my disruption bombs yet. Just discovered by somebody walking into me. With nowhere to move to. That's exactly what. Okay, that's the stairway. That's where he was running to. All right. <sighs> Doesn't seem like there's anyone else up here. Well, not that there cannot be. Okay, here's a dark corner. This will do. <sighs> I'll lay them to rest there. To sleep with, with their holy brethren. Until the builder shall return again. Or their headaches shall arise. <sighs> I think I need to heal. Ah. Ah. But I still haven't edited that. It still blows my ears out every time. It's very annoying. Okay, where are we? I have no idea. I thought we were on the second floor, but no, we're, we're on one of the side buildings, right? And I have no idea which one anymore. So this is like a library? Is there a library on the map? No. There's a scriptorium, but this is not a scriptorium, is it? <sighs> the novice or the acolyte is intended to symbolically represent the entrance of man into the world. Coming from the ignorance and darkness of the forest, his first craving is for intellectual and moral light which emanates from the Builder's wisdom. For his light is here to guide him to the great staircase of hierarchy and to point him towards the next step which shall lead him to indoctrination as an elevated acolyte. A man wishing to be part of the Hammerite Order must first present himself to a seminary, and if there are not any serious objections, he shall enter and stand before a committee of two or three appointed brothers who shall inquire into his character and verify if he is fairly a man. Then the man is to state that, unbiased by unworthy motives, be he freely and voluntarily offers himself as a brother to the Hammerite Order, that he is to forfeit all riches, titles and pleasures, to fully pursue the knowledge and wisdom of the Builder's Mysteries, and that he shall conform to all the ancient established usages and customs of the Hammerite Order. The first step as a novice is to endure two years tra in training as a seminarian on personal discipline as well as learning the first builder's tenets. Then he is to endure a three-year contract of service in a Hammerite complex chosen by his masters, at the end of which he shall be considered as a candidate for the ritual of indoctrination as an elevated acolyte, which consists of great pain to his flesh so that it may ever be on his mind and conscience if he should ever reveal, ever attempt to reveal the secrets of the Hammerite order. I didn't think they were a uh, mystery religion, you know? They seem to be more normal than that. They do have monies, that's useful, and they do have a banner here that I need to attempt to deal with. Ow. I just healed. Am I really going to waste my last health potion on an evil banner? No, because I am full. Because I am a fool. And I need not be so foolish as that. Well, that did not go where I thought it was going. Okay, well, hang on. Uh, I can do this with the uh, arrow there. Alright, let us descend from our elevated acolyte position down to the lowly floor. And now I can deal with the banner without uh, grievous injury to my legs and nether regions. Much better. If only I remembered that I had a rip arrows before. 
This is not clearly not astronomy. Well, we're outside the front gate now. That's the scriptorium. Oh, I didn't enter here and go left. I entered here and went left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's the scriptorium. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Ambience is so loud. Alright, there's a lower floor that I have not explored. And of course there's upper floors I have not explored as well. So this is, it feels like a library, not a scriptorium. I wonder who made this map. Somebody... Whoever, whoever gave humans... That there, speak thyself. Just nobody by the builder from whence that mistake shall cost thee thy life. Meant thou that to pain? I'm close to killing him now, to be honest. <laughs> well, there's a disruption bomb. There's this. Temporary usage, okay. Hmm. Doesn't last very long. And I should have used the flash bomb for that encounter. Honestly. I've only got two flash bombs, so maybe that's fine. Um So if we go north from here is the priest quarters but we, there is no direct connection right we could maybe make that jump no that's too big a jump all right let's go take the downstairs And the word went before him on a breeze carrying ourselves. Wait, what, what are you guys doing back here? Did they with the did you give up on the heart of a poet, yet also with the hands of a bill? Why are you just standing there? Us up from the earth. Why are you just standing there? That's ridiculous. I'm the first ever and I don't see why I should be placed here. Oh, <laughs> That was a flash bomb in usage. So this is the way I came in. So uh, kind of inconvenient of them to just stand there in the doorway with the door open. I think these are the guys who are trying to get through the gate and I guess they couldn't. That's right, they can sleep down here. Yeah. Okay, he, he turns the other way. <sighs> Sacramore, chapter 17. And the ancient came back to the shivering and faithful apprentice and said, Man canst not forge his destiny without pain and the gnashing of teeth, as he is the chisel of the hammer and the stone all at once. Now it looks like a scriptorium a little bit more. Actually have writing desks. And a book stand, that's a very nice touch. 
Pop the book up so that you can copy it. Okay. And a mop. You shouldn't leave a mop like that, it's not going to dry. Turn it, up, turn it the other way up. Alright, so this is the north exit. Okay, that's not a good way out for me. Nothing on this desk. Alright, this, this place seems to have little of value for me, but... <sighs> I can just ascend up a floor. Oh, wait a minute. On this side... Are there windows on this side? Oh, hello. Oh, this is the upper level. So I've looked around there. Has someone come? Sound like there's somebody still coming and going in the scriptorium, so... Well, I did put all the bodies in the dark, so that should be okay. Let us sit here and consider a plan for whatever the next step is going to be, because it has been an hour and thus time... yeah, there he goes. Time for us to um, end this sermon uh, episode and continue with next time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you here for more hammer shenanigans.